Today's lesson is rounding whole numbers, lesson number two. Today you will round numbers to the nearest thousands, ten thousands, and nearest hundred thousand. You will need a pencil and a piece of paper for this lesson. So please pause the video and come back and hit play when you're ready. A rounded number is not an exact number. It falls in between the tens or hundreds or thousands and so on. Continues through the place value. The key is to find out which number it is closest to. This DVD, Finding Nemo, is what we looked at on our last lesson. It's on sale for $17. And when you went to go ask mom if you could have it, she said, about how much is it? Remember when you see the words about, a lot of times you are supposed to be rounding. Well, if we look at $10 or $20 and we want to know about how much it is, $17 is closer to 20 than it is to 10. So when we're rounding, we're always trying to find which number it's closest to. In this case, we used the tens. Round the following number to the nearest thousands. Well, before we do that, I want, to under, I want you to understand that 3,467 falls in between numbers. So if we number this number line right here, we have 3,000, 3,100, 3,200, 3,300, 3,400, 3,500, 3,600, 3,700, 3,800, 3,900, and 4,000. So we go from 3,000 to 4,000. If you're going to the nearest thousands, this is a little above 3,000. So the next 1,000 up would be 4,000, as we just saw. So if we're looking at 3,467, 3,400 is about right here, and it's not quite 3,500. So if we were going to place this on this number line, it would be about, about right here, a little, little past this, the center, a little past the middle. Now remember, 3,500 is the exact middle, and that 5 is the point of where you go up to the next, in this case, thousand. So the following number, 3,467, is closest to 3,000 because we were asked to look at the thousands. Remember the rules to follow when we're rounding. Well, first of all, you have to remember Wimpy and Bossy. Wimpy, if the number you're looking at is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, he says, ah, oh, I think I'll just stay put. Bossy, is saying move it. So if you're 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you have to move. And we'll see that more specifically in a second. The first rule is underline the place that you are rounding to in both the number and the word. So that's the first step. So if we go back and look at that number that we just looked at on the number line, round to the nearest thousands. I want you to underline the word thousands so you do not forget which place you're looking for. Then come down to the number itself the standard form and underline the thousands place because that's what they want us to round to. We're looking at the thousands. Second step, look at the number to the immediate right. So if we go down to 3000 and I'm going to look at the number to the immediate right, that's a four. Ask, ask yourself, is it wimpy or bossy? If it is bossy, change the underlying number to go up one. Remember, bossy tells him to move it, so you've got to move up one. And everything after that place changes to a zero. Well, in this case, the four is not bossy. It's wimpy. So if the number to the right of the underlying number is wimpy, the underlying number stays, and you put everything after that place becomes a zero. So the 3 stays, and everything after becomes a 0. Because if you recall, when we looked at that number line, this number is in between 3,000 and 4,000. 
and it was closer to 3,000. So that's why we write the zeros at the end because we were asked to find the nearest thousands. So this number has to be in the thousands. In this case, it was 3,000. It stayed because the 4 was wimpy. So round this number to the nearest thousands. I want you to write this number on your piece of paper. 12,437 and I want you to round it to the nearest thousands. You can pause the video, that way you're able to still look at the number. When you're ready to check it against my work, then go ahead and hit play. Okay, round to the nearest thousands. We're going to underline the word thousands because that's the place that we are paying attention to. If we go down to this number, this is the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and we are to look at the thousands, so we're going to underline the two. The next rule is to look at the very next door neighbor to the right. It's a four. Is it wimpy or bossy? You're right, it's wimpy. So if it's wimpy, the underlined digit says, ah, I think I'll just stay here. And then everything else behind it turns to a zero. So this number, 12,437, by the work we just did, is closest to 12,000. Now the next thousand that would have been up from it, it's in between 12,000 and 13,000. And it's closest to 12,000. Okay, here's your next number. Again, write this down, pause the video, do the work, and then come back. Round the following number to the nearest hundreds. So we need to find the hundreds. Here's the ones, tens, hundreds. Underline the hundreds. What's the next step? That's right, look at your neighbor. It's a nine. Is nine bossy or wimpy? You're right, nine is bossy. So it's going to boss the seven, and seven goes up one digit. Everything behind it turns to a zero. So 10,791 rounded to the nearest hundreds is 10,800. If you look at 791, it's closer to 800 than it is to 700, so that makes sense. And then, of course, we keep the 10,000s. Round this number to the nearest 10,000s. So we've got, let's see, ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands. Write this number on your paper and then go ahead and do the work and then when you're done go ahead and push play. The nearest ten thousands. So we're going to underline the ten thousands. We want ten thousands. Don't forget that ten. Now look at the neighbor. It's a seven. Is a seven bossy or wimpy? If it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, it's bossy. In this case, it's a seven. So it's going to boss this four. The four is going to move, move up, and everything behind it turns to a zero. So 47,328 is closest to 50,000. It's actually in between 40,000 and 50,000. That's the 10,000s that it's actually in between. And it's about down here. It's closer to the 50,000. Okay, round this number to the nearest 100,000s. Write the number down and then pause the video. And then when you're ready, go ahead and push play. Nearest 100,000s. Ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So underline the four. That digit is in the hundred thousands place. The next step, look at the neighbor. It's a three. Zero, one, two, three, four, those are wimpy. So if they're wimpy, the underlined digit, oops, I totally forgot to underline that, in the hundred thousands place is going to stay put. Everything behind it turns to a zero every digit. So we've got 400,000. That is our answer. That is the nearest hundred thousands.
Okay, don't forget, WIMPY is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. And WIMPY numbers just stay put, they don't move. Bossy, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, that number says move it, and they move up. Today you rounded numbers to the nearest thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands.